Hello, this is Anoset part one. With X3, with cheap X3, there were two very important improvements, I feel. One was the MRLS, and the other is the Anosets. We're going to talk about the Anosets now. For me, the fundamental building blocks for creating plans is the SAM, the Anosets, and the MRLS. MRLS, of course, I'll talk some about some other time. I've already talked to you about the SAM. Now I'm going to talk to you about anosets. What are anosets? Anosets, what anosets do is it gives you the ability to quickly change the default text layer, the default dimension layer, and the default CAD layers. And it also defines the dimension defaults. So if you're not using X3 and if you're using something before X3, what you, what you know you need to do is when you go from your floor plan to your framing plan, you need to change the default dimension layer. And then you have to go in and change the default text layer. And then you have to go in and change the default CAD layer. With the Anosets, it's very quick. It's very quick. You'll notice on my screen here, I, my icons, my tools are out of the box settings for the most part. Someone spent a lot of time working this out and they work for me. The only thing I've modified is I have created this up here, I've, right, right up here, top right hand corner. That is my active anno set control layer. I can go to a different anno set. By the way, I'm looking at the layout. I'm going to try to keep this simple right now and I'm going to deal with the layout anno sets. This is the Anno Sets control button. Right above here is the Layer Set control button. You'll notice that, let me back up a second. Some, when the Anno Sets came out, there was some debate over whether to make Layer Sets King or Anno Sets King. What I mean by that is, if you change the Anno Set, does that change, does that change the Layer Set? Or if I change the Layer Set, does that change the Anno Set? Well, what they settled on, which I think was the right move, was the Anno sets control what layer set is being controlled. So what I do is when I can when I go from Anno set to Anno set, that defines the layer set, which is right here, active layer set control. You'll notice they have the same name. That's just so I can keep track of it easier. Contractor two is the Anno set. Contractor two is the layer set. This button here is the the button that gives you the ability to create new Anno sets. Quickly, I have. A different, I have a unique Anno set for each view sent the layout. Again, we're not talking about plan here, we're talking about layout, so this is just a little bit different, but this is a very simple explanation, an easy explanation that you might be able to understand easier, and I'm dealing with the layer sets. So here I have uh, the contractor two is building this. If, if this particular plan is being built by contractor one, I change it to contractor one Anno set. There you see contractor one. It changes the layer set. This this name contractor one is on the layer set. Watch this. If I come up here and I change it to contractor two, contractor's two here, and it's a modified whatever this is. I try to ignore this. I pretty much ignore this modified version. It just means something's been changed. But contractor two, contractor one. You'll see contractor one. Now I go to contractor three. Right. Well, I don't have a contractor three yet. I guess whatever. Also, uh, watch this, contractor two, 24 by 36 sheet of paper. Suppose, suppose I want to use 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I simply go to my Anno set contractor two, 8.5 by 11. And now you'll notice that the border is much smaller. So I need to go over here and change my print page setup to letter paper and letter paper there. Now you'll see that I can print this on 8.5 by 11. Just simply by changing this Anno set, I've changed the border for this. Contractor 1, 8.5 by 11. You'll see contractor 1 is listed there. Contractor 2, 8.5 by 11. There he is too. So here, here's an example of using the SAM and Suppose I got a new client and it's contractor three. Well, he needs a new 
new anno set, I think. So I'm going to go back to my standard stuff here, Con contractor two. You'll notice that it's using the big border. See that big border right here. So I need to go to go to file, print, page setup, and I need to change my paper size to arc D. I need to change this to arc D. And now it's 24 by 36 pieces of paper with what have you. But now I just got a new client and he's contractor three. So I need to create a new anno set. So I come over here, press this anno set button. I want to use this as a template, Contractor 2. I copy it. Notice up here it's copy of Contractor 2. Delete that. Change this to 3. Come down here to Active Annotation Set, Contractor 3. The layer set, I want him to have his own layer set. So define, copy set, Contractor 3. Perfect. There it is. Contractor 3, right there. Oops, give me a second here. I'm going to think about this. Ah, here it is. 24 by 36 contractor 2. Oh, you, you might not be able to see this. There's something funny going on. So anyway, just, just uh, maybe you can see it. So anyway, I'm copying. I don't know. Uh, oh, sorry. This. Sorry, this is my mistake. Now you can see what's going on. 24 by, I just copied this layer 24 by 36 contractor 3 and that layer is turned on okay so look at this annotation set the annotation set is contractor 3 active annotation add the active annotations contractor 3 the layer sets contractor 3 okay this right here this text that is contractor 2 and it's on this layer here what i want to do is i want to copy it so i copy it in place I open it up, I change it to contractor 3, and I put it on 24 by 36 contractor 3 layer. There we go. Now I'm in contractor 3 annotation set, but I got a problem here because I also have this 24 by 36 contractor 2 displayed. I want to turn that off. I don't want contractor 1 on, I don't want contractor 2 on, I want contractor 3 on. So let's see what we got. Contractor 3. So I go over here to my active annotation set. I can go to Contractor 1, Contractor 2. Oops. There. I got to turn off Contractor 2's layer. Now you can see it. So let's review that. Oh gosh, now I did it again wrong. This is on. I, I tested this a little bit ago and I messed it up again, I guess. So anyway, this is contractor three. That should be on that should be on contractor three. Perfect. Control C, control V. Make sure that's on contractor two layer. Good. I want to now I'm gonna go to that is on contractor three layer, yes. So what the problem is, I have contractor three on. I don't have contractor two on. That's the problem. Now what's this? That is, I'm glad I'm going through this again. Oh, there it is right there. Fine. Maybe, that's, maybe it's fixed. Delete. Okay, let's review. Contractor one, there he is. Contractor one. Contractor two, there he is. Yep, good. Contractor three. Yep, there he is. So what I just did is I created a new, I created a new anno set, which now controls a new layer set, which is for the new contractor. So to, so this is where the SAM is helpful. I've just created a new layer set template for any future plans because I might be doing more than one job for contractor three. Again, if I didn't use the SAM, I would have to go through this process, not only for this plan, but I would also have to do this for the template plan or profile plan, whatever you want to call it. So another advantage of the SAM. Um, and I think that takes care of that. This is the end of part one of the Anno sets. In part two of the Anno sets, we'll talk about how Anno sets deal with the plan itself. Remember, we were dealing with a layout on this using 
and offsets for the layout.